Hello, lords and ladies of YouTube, and welcome back to Nightly Gaming's Nightly Gaming and another episode of Hearthstone. So, today I'm going to be showing you another one of my gimmicky decks. I call this one Mech Rogue. I'm going to go over the deck list real quick, and then we'll hop into some game to show you how it works. Uh, so, starting off with the deck list. Um, I have two backstabs. Great, just uh, early clear, zero cost, two damage for free on anything that's undamaged. So, that's, that's just nice and efficient. Cogmaster, good one drop. It's usually a 1-3-2 because I it's really easy for me to have mechs on the field. Um, and it's good to just have some kind of one drop in this deck. Uh, after that, I have two Annoyatrons. Really sticky minion. It's a mech, so it synergizes well with anything. Um, that taunt divine shield can slow down their pace. Um, if they're any kind of super aggro deck, like face hunters or things like that, it can really put a damper on their strategy. Um, I also have two goblin auto barbers um because it's easy for me to have a weapon so it's always going to synergize well i don't have any big weapons so it's completely just to go with my passive weapon um plus it's a mech and it's a decent drop a two three two is stat efficient so i'm okay with that i also have two mech warpers uh stat efficient two two three plus it makes my other mechs cost uh one less so i can combo that with like potential turn three um big minion like a piloted treader or a yeti or something like that um so it's just really good to have in a mech deck. I also have two micro machines. This guy becomes really powerful, really fast, so they have to take care of it early. Um, they can't just kind of let it sit on the board. Um, once again, though, it's also mech, low cost, so I can use it to combo with, with different things. Um, I also have one beneath the grounds, just because it's really nice to have that all around. Um, you know. Anytime it's a 4-4 four, four Nerubian comes out, it's worth... I mean, realistically, I only need them to draw one of them for this card to be worth its mana cost. Uh, you know, a 3-4-4 four, four is, is worth in my mind. Um, so it's just a good card to have. Uh, it also prevents them, if they're um, having a lot of draw power, sometimes it makes them double think... Uh, double think? Makes them rethink uh, whether or not they want to use all that draw. So that's nice. I also have one Demolisher in this deck. Um, not the best card, but it can be nice if I can get it behind, you know, my Annoyatrons and things like that. Um, it can start doing some, some really annoying damage to the enemy. Um, not stat efficient, 314 is not stat efficient, um, but it's a mech, so it still synergizes well with things, so I, I threw one in here. Um, I also have one Iron Sensei, I probably would like to have two, probably would get rid of the Demolisher, but I only own one, um... But it's a really good card. So 3-2-2 two, two isn't exactly stat efficient. But at the end of your turn, give another friendly mech plus 2 plus 2. So as long as I have another mech on my field the same turn I play him, I'm guaranteed to get an extra 2-2 two, two, uh, stat out of him. So that basically can... Basically I can count him as a 3-4-4 four, four in a way. Um, so that's nice. Uh, plus he every turn that he stays alive, he only becomes more and more valuable. So he, he can become quite the, uh, the uh, nuisance pretty quickly. Tinker Town Technician goes well with my mech deck. Always, almost always going to have mechs out. Three, uh, three for a four, four almost always plus a spare part. Um, definitely worth. Really annoying to put out. Uh, it's just great all around. I also have two Tinkerers uh, Sharp Sword Oil. Um, it's easy to combo since there's a lot of relatively low cost uh, minions and uh, other cards that I can play. Um, so it combos really well, and I'm almost always going to have a weapon out with my passive. Uh, so I can get that three attack on my weapon and three attack onto a minion, just super valuable. I have one arcane nullifier X twenty one. Um, it's a irritating taunt that can't be eliminated by spells. So if they're spell reliant, uh, targeted spell reliant, like uh, you know maybe it's a priest wanting to use uh, shadow word pain, or maybe it's a mage you know wanting to use like a fireball or something like that um, to try to get it off the field they can't. It also can't be targeted by hero power, so once again, mages can't touch it, which is nice. Um, so it's just kind of an irritating, sticky taunt. Um, plus, it's a mech, so once again, synergize as well. I have one Enhanso Mechanico. Uh, not stat efficient on its own. Debatably not the best card, um, but I feel like it synergizes as well. One, it's a mech, which is always nice in a mech deck, uh, but it also can give your other minions Wind Fury, Taunt, or Divine Shield at random. So that random part, kind of annoying. But with that said, Wind Fury, Taunt, and Divine Shield, almost almost none of my cards have those. I have Taunts from the Annoyatron and the Arcane Nullifier. I have the Divine Shield from the Annoyatron, but everything else is, is pretty much empty. Um, so 
it, it, it becomes valuable if I have even just two, maybe three uh, min minions on the board. So it, it, it can become very valuable very quickly. Um, Mechanical Yeti, I do have two of those in here. Um, really, it's just stat efficient, four, four, five. Uh, Death Rattle, give each player a spare part. I'm going to benefit usually from spare parts more than the other person. Not always, but usually. Um, plus, I get a nice body out on the board. Um, I also have the uh, two piloted treaders in this deck. Sticky minion can't be cleared out by AoE. Let's say I have a piloted shredder out and they decide to flame strike. My board clear everything. Well, I'm going to be guaranteed to get a two cost minion after the flame strike still. So I have two of those guys. Once again, uh, just a really great sticky card. Uh, plus it's a mech. Um, so synergize as well. I also have two assassinates just because assassinate is a guaranteed clear of something that they put on their board. Whether they play, you know, like a Ysera and I need to get that off now before they start getting dream cards or anything like that. Um, that's just helpful. I also have two Clockwork Knights. One normal, one golden. Uh, so, 5-5 five, five for 5. Pretty decent stat line. Not the best, but decent stat line. Um, uh, plus, it's give a friendly mech plus 1, plus 1. Um, so when I put them out, I'm guaranteed to buff one of my other mechs, and like, I, like I've like i been saying this whole time, it's pretty easy for me to have mechs out on the field with this deck. Then, uh, to round it off, I have a nice big kind of game-ending card, Dr. Boom, uh, 777, decent stat line, summon two 1-1 one, one boom bots that can explode for 1-4 to four damage, and the key here is those boom bots are mechs. So any of my things that can affect mechs can affect those boom bots, so I can actually have really super strong boom bots or i can combo if, if you know i put dr boom in the next turn all i have in my hand is a uh, tinkertown technician i can put the technician down um and it will be able to it'll be able to activate it as a 4-4 because of those mechs so that's that's the nice part about dr boom is um not only is he just a great card in general uh but the the uh, bombs actually count as mechs um with that said i'm going to go ahead and hop into some games uh and see how it goes Valera. Okay, so we're against the Paladin. I'm hoping this isn't Secret Paladin, because Secret Paladin is just annoying. But there's a good chance of it being Secret Paladin. So, I'm going to put away the Sharp Sword Oil. I'm probably going to keep Backstab, just because it's it, it's good early clear for pretty much whatever he puts out. I'm debating whether or not to keep the Tinker Town Technician. Because I don't have a mech in my hand yet that's guaranteed to combo with him, so... I'm going to say not, not worth. I probably could easily get one, but... Okay, so I could throw the Cogmaster out turn one and then th throw out my uh, Micro Machine turn two in order to guarantee get his his buff. I think that's probably the best option. Um, so the win conditions for this deck. Win conditions are a big thing to think about when, when you're uh, playing a deck. The way this deck wins for me is I'm able to keep board control. I'm able to get at least two or three minions that stay on the board that I'm able to buff up and I'm able to to go face. Um, mm. That's the way this this deck wins um, is through a few turns of buffed up minions being able to attack his face. Okay, so you didn't have anything to follow up. Ooh, I could actually instead of my micro machine, I'll throw out the Annoyatron here. That still buffs him, and now he can't he can't go directly for the uh, Cogmaster without uh, without using a spell to clear him or trying to get through the Annoyatron somehow. So this is actually really good for me. Yeah, so far this, this start is actually quite good. I haven't played around with this uh, version of my mech rogue. I'm, I've had a other version of a mech rogue for a little while, but, uh, me think. but I haven't used it too much. Um, and then I, I I made some improvements off of what I had seen, and so I haven't gotten to actually use this version of my Mechro very much, so we'll see how it goes. I feel like it's definitely a stronger version. Um, before, I had some antique heal bots that cost a bunch for, yes, I it's a 5-3-3, totally not stat efficient. Plus, I, I mean, they give you some good health, which can help you in certain situations, but usually, usually just wasn't helpful. Um... Are they not there? Did they disconnect? Hmm. The pleasure is mine. Hello? Are you there? Hello? Okay. I'm not sure if they disconnected or they're just trying to 
test my patience or something. <laughs> um, although with that, I, I will go ahead and throw out my micro machine. Um, because that way he can start, he can start getting buffed up. Um, I have no real way of using that one extra mana, so. Yeah, I think he disconnected. Oh, nope, here he is. Okay, coin, what are you gonna follow up with? Okay, into a mechanical yeti. Okay. I admittedly did not see that coming. Okay, well, we'll just backstab into Cogmaster to clear that. Um, let's see. We're gonna go ahead and put out the daggers and a second annoyance round. I think that's probably the best option here. And I'm not going to attack with the dagger because I want to use my uh, Tinker's uh, Sharp Sword next turn. Uh, combo with the Rusty Horn. Although, I don't... Rusty Horn's not gonna be the best option really here. Okay, never mind. Now it's now it's fine. Let's see here. What are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do, buddy? Shields up. Okay, so you're gonna give it taunt. Okay. That's that's fine with me. Ooh. No, I want to use the, my, my Tinkerer's this turn. So let's give him Taunt. Tinkerer's Sharp Sword. Uh, Sharp Sword Oil. Then I'll take this and Neutron, throw it into that, because that way I don't have to actually trade anything. I'll go. kill him with that. And then just go ahead and throw it face. So this is actually really good for me. I have established definite board control. I have buffed up some uh, minion. Kind of sucks that he silenced him, but it's not the end of the world. Next turn, I'll be able to uh, buff up my uh, one of them with uh, the Clockwork Knight. I think I'm going to probably buff up that Noetron. Um, because he has to go through... Ooh, or I could put out the Pilot Shutter. No. Well, yeah, no. So we'll go face with this, buff that up, throw out the Pilot Shutter, because now he, ha he still has to get through the taunts, and that's going to be really annoying for him. Because now the pilot of Shredder is a, a good damage minion, and unless he somehow clears my entire board this turn with, I mean, I mean, he he literally has to clear everything. If a single thing survives, I can kill him just off of my wicked knife. Strathol will be purged. Scarlet do damage to all minions with that death rattle. That's interesting. I have never actually seen that card. Three, four, three, all minions with death rattle. I don't feel like that's the best of cards. Okay. Well, we won. Uh, that was quite a convincing victory, actually. Um, yeah, no, let's see what happens when I hop into an another game, I guess. Alrighty then. Let's see. Priest. I'm trying to think anything really irritating about priests that I would have to deal with. Actually... I think I like this hand. I could coin, turn one, dagger, turn two, auto barber. I think that's... Yeah, I think this is a good hand. Plus I have the zero cost backstab in case he throws out anything too irritating. Alright, let's see. So coin... Dagger. And then next turn, I'll Goblin Auto Barber. I don't have a good turn three, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. And maybe the curve on this is a little, a little odd. There's, there's kind of me? holes in it, you could say. Okay. So then I'm going to Auto Barber. Okay, well there, there's my turn three, so that's fine. Then I'm going to backstab and then attack it. So there's that. I was able to clear that out in one turn, so with just two damage to face, which isn't that big of a deal here, realistically. I care more about board control than I care about keeping my face alive. And plus, mages don't really... Er, not mages. <laughs> mages have a ton of burst damage. Priests don't really have a ton of burst damage. Okay, gotta work pain, so that's... 
mildly annoying. That ruins my turn three. But I did get rid of one of the Shadow War pins, which is nice. I'll go ahead and throw out the Micro Machine, I guess. You know, it's a waste of one mana, but not the end of the world. Um, so let's see if he has any way to get rid of the Micro Machine. If not, turn next turn I'll do Shredder, and then Clockwork Knight. Okay, Welp. Well, I can still get rid of that. I'm going to have to throw my micro machine into it as well as the knife, which is kind of annoying, but oh well. I would shut her out. Get rid of that. So, so far, we, we still have board control. While I'm four health down, which that's not that big of a deal. I mean, that's one attack from my piloted shredder. Um, what matters is I'm the one with board control here. I'm the one that's setting the pace that I want. Um, and he wasn't able to do anything at all that turn. Oh my god, that is terrible for him. Uh, that's a shadow. If I upgrade that, that shadow were deathable. I don't want to do that. Instead, I'm going to summon him and my dagger. Because he could very well have Shadow Word Death, and if I put out the Clockwork Knight and buffed up my piloted Shredder, then he could just Shadow Word Death that. Right now, since it's at 4, he can't Shadow Word Pain or Shadow Word Death it. Um, and the and my uh, Technician's also at four, uh, 4 damage, so he can't do anything to that either. Um, so this could be very annoying for him. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, okay, Valen's chosen. That's an inconvenience, but I'll probably just assassinate that. I mean, there's probably better things I could use assassinate on, but I'm just gonna go ahead and assassinate it. And I'll also just throw out the Cogmaster, because, you know, no real reason not to. I am going to hold on to this dagger, I think. Because I can't I can't refresh it this turn, so. So no reason getting rid of that, because I might be able to use it to combo into something to destroy something irritating that he throws out. Okay, Azure Drake. That's annoying, that's annoying. Question is, do I throw my Tinker Town Technician into it? Because Cogmaster is Shadow Word Death, or Shadow Word Painable. Um, okay, so let's see here. I'm actually going to combo him. Along with my hands of mechanical, which means I get to affect four of them. Which is, I, I got a divine shield on him, just throw him into that. And then throw him there. I get to do wind fury with you. Yeah, this is this is looking like it's going to be a total stop. This deck is doing much better than I actually expected it to be doing. <laughs> um... I mean, this is clearly a Dragon Priest, which is a little bit more late game focused, which he's starting to get into, but he's not able to do anything with yet. It, it doesn't matter, he's dead this turn. Okay. Um, I guess I'll buff that. Throw out the Auto Barber. Why not go ahead and give him an extra health? And then we'll just go ahead and kill him. And well played. So as you can see, this deck actually works out really well. Um, nothing else really to say about it. So in the comment section down below, though, I would be curious on what you guys think I could do to improve this deck. Um, whether it be making my curve a little bit earlier for even more early aggression, or maybe rounding out some of the little gaps, like my three gaps a little thin, things like that. Uh, my three slot, I mean. Um, so let me know what you guys think I could do better in the comment section down below. Um, always, always curious to hear other people's ideas. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, click the uh, like button. Always appreciate it. If you want to see my previous videos, which I do Hearthstone twice a week, you can check out my channel, see all of the previous Hearthstone videos. And if you want to see my future Hearthstone videos, you can click that nice red subscribe button. I do videos every single day, so you'll get Hearthstone as well as plenty of other content. Um, otherwise, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!